I've been working with the largest companies in the world for the past 20 years, and many of those had the largest data warehouses in the world. It's big data, and nothing's more exciting than big data. Some people say, well, I've worked with small data, and you just do a little math, and it's maybe twice as big or three times as big. What's the big deal? It's a huge deal. Big data is much different than smaller data. If you're taking this course, you're probably having the opportunity of a lifetime right in front of you. So take advantage of this. I pinch myself every day because it was difficult to learn for me in the beginning, but once I got it down, I just really could. You know, I, I had control of my own future, and that's something that is just invaluable to me. Now, here is a way to take big data and make things much faster. Now, we're joining from the employee table to the department table. There aren't that many rows. This isn't what I would qualify as big data. But imagine if I join two tables that have 10 million rows with 10 billion rows. That could take 40 hours. It could take 20 hours. It could take an hour depending on the system and the size. But let's face it, that's a lot of work. So what I want you to notice here is we are still joining where E.depno equals D.depno, but we have put an additional AND clause in here and said, and I want to see where the department name from the department table is like market, which is going to be marketing. So what the systems are going to do is they're not going to say, let's join those zillions of rows together and then pull out the marketing stuff. They're going to go, no, go to the department table, find any rows that are like marketing, bring that row back, and just join that. In this case, I'm only going to have to join one row. So that 40-hour query, that 20-hour query, that hour query, it just got down to under 30 seconds. Here's our query again, but we're using ANSI syntax with the words, inner join. We discussed earlier outer joins. You see, that's why I want you using this ANSI syntax because I can then say left outer join, right outer join, full outer join. I can't do that with the traditional syntax with a comma in between those. So that's why I want that. But here is another case where I have the on e.depno equals d.depno and department name like marketing. And now once again, it's going to go find the row, one or just a few rows that have marketing in them, and then it's going to join those to the employees in that particular department. That is going to cut down on your queries so much, and that's the key to big data. There's nothing wrong with doing a full table scan if you're really after the big data and you need that full report, but there's nothing worse than when you really don't need all that information and you've taken that 20 hours to run that query to go, I found the person in marketing. That's not appropriate. So let's use that additional and clause when we can. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Do you have two different systems that hold your data? Our query tool, the Nexus, now lets you move data freely between them. Great for data movement and for joins, the Nexus is ready to help you cross boundaries. Visit coughingdw.com for more details. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.